Hey, I'm Stephen Iwashki from Adventure Yoga. Today, I've got a 60 minute level one, two vinyasa practice for you that I call the way out is in. We're going to follow our breath in to help us get out of our minds and really just get into our body and move. Unroll your mat, have a seat, and I'll meet you there in just a few seconds. Please come into child's pose. Choose whichever child's pose you like. I'm going to do knees wide, feet together. This is like the space that gives me to fold forward, but you can choose your own child's pose. Fold forward and choose what you're doing with your arms. I've got arms forward, but you might like arms back. You might even want to hold your feet. And stay here. Bring a little focus to your breath. Lengthen your inhale some. And lengthen your exhale some. Our theme for class today is the way out is in. So follow your breath in. bring even more focus to your breath. Work to make your inhale and your exhale the same length as each other. Work to make the amount of breath that you draw in steady from the beginning to the end of your inhale. And work to make the amount of breath that you exhale steady from the beginning to the end of your exhale. Focus on your breath to help connect your mind with your body. To help you connect inside with yourself. That connection, that journey in, is the foundation for transformation. the foundation of your yoga practice. Look inside. And then come up to all fours. Hands and knees. Also known as Barmanasana. Bring your shoulders over your wrists. Push down through your hands. Lift your breastbone away from the ground a little bit. Lift your belly away from the ground a little bit. And then stretch back through your hips. Stretch forward through the top of your head. Get long in your spine. And breathe. If you've lost that focus on your breath, come back to the focus on your breath. Walk your knees back a little bit more. Tuck your toes under. And make your way into your first downward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift your knees, lift your hips, move your chest back. I recommend starting with bent knees, but if you're ready for straight legs, you can do straight legs. So I'm going to do bent knees. Push your hands down and forward, move your chest back. Squeeze your wrists towards each other a little bit so that your arms activate a little more. Push down through the earth, stretch out through your shoulders, but also energetically draw in from your hands all the way up your arms, all the way into the center of your chest. Push down through your feet. Without moving your knees towards each other, squeeze your legs towards each other and stick your butt up a little bit higher. Straighten your right leg if both knees are bent. And if 
your legs were straight, bend your left knee. Stretch your right heel back and down. Just stretch your calf muscles on your right knee. And stay here. Focus your breath. And then change sides. Straighten your left leg, bend your right knee. Stretch your left heel back and down. And hold them. Really work to open up your calf muscles in the bottom of your left leg. Keep your right knee bent and your left knee. Bring your knees down to the ground. Sit on your heels. And sit up. Vajrasana. Bring your hands in front of your heart. And close your eyes. With your feet flat, push down through your toes. Stretch up through your spine. And look inside. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Very gently, push your fingertips and the heels of your hands towards each other. Draw in. The way out is in. What do you want to get out of your practice? The path there starts here. This is your foundation. If Ujjayi Pranayama is part of your practice, begin your Ujjayi Pranayama. If that doesn't make sense to you, or you're still building your Ujjayi practice, totally fine. For you today, work to make your inhale the same length as your exhale. Work to breathe through your nose as you do that. And work to make your breath steady. So that your breath is even from beginning to end of your inhale, from beginning to end of your exhale. Let that be your ujjayi work today. And whatever breath work you're doing, use your breath to help you go inside. begin the practice, please join me to sing one ohm. Exhale. Inhale. Bow your chin and lower your hands to your lap. Interlace your fingers in front of you. Push your hands away from you. Push your palms away from you. Move your belly back and stretch your arms up. Move the outer edges of your mouth up. Stretch your hands up. Stretch through your shoulders. Push up like you're trying to touch your hands onto the ceiling. And steady your breath. Pull the outer edge of your hand down. Work to make your hands flat to the ceiling. Super challenging for a lot of us, not for everybody. At least for me. And then release your fingers, bring your hands down to your sides. Roll your shoulders a little, loosen them up, and then stretch your arms up. To the right, twist. Move your left arm back a little as you twist. 
so that your arms stay in line with each other. Bring your right hand to the ground. Take your left hand, hold above your right knee. Just a gentle twist. Sit up tall and twist. Stay in the twist on your belly, on your lower back, and stretch your arms up. Move your left hand back a little, come back to center. Move your right hand back a little and twist to the left. Take your left hand to the ground behind you. Take your right hand above your left. Sit up tall and twist. Stay in the twist. Tone your belly on your lower back. Stick your arms up overhead. Move your right hand back a little. Come back to center. Side bend to the right. Bring your right hand down to the mat. And side bend to the right. Push down through your right hand. Push down through your left hip and side bend here. Reach with your left fingertips, bend your right elbow a little so you can get a little more side bend action happening. And then push through your right hand, come up through center, bring your left hand down, and side bend to the left. Push down through your left hand, push down through your right hip. Bend your left elbow, and side bend more. Really reach through your right hand so you're feeling the opening in the right hand side of your body. Come up to center and come up to stand. Tadasana. Awesome. Stand at the top of your mat. Choose feet hip distance apart or feet together. Your choice. Tadasana. Awesome. Stretch your arms down at your sides and steady your breath. Surya Namaskar A. Sun salutation. Slow to begin. Inhale, stretch up. Stay here and exhale. Squeeze your legs together and fold forward. Inhale. Uttanasana, stay here. Exhale, push down through your feet, squeeze your legs towards each other. Touch the ground. Inhale, lift your chest. Keep touching the ground, so if you need to bend your knees to do that, do. And exhale here. Squeeze your wrists towards each other. Squeeze your feet towards each other. Inhale, place your hands flat and step it back to plank pose. Push through your hands, squeeze your wrists towards each other, push through your feet, squeeze your thighs towards each other, and exhale here. Bend your elbows a little, point your elbows back, inhale, and start to lower. Exhale, don't collapse to the ground, be in charge of how low you go. Place your feet flat, up dog, inhale, stay here. Squeeze your legs towards each other, squeeze your wrists towards each other as you exhale, lift your chest. Tuck your toes under, inhale, lift it up and back, downward facing dog, exit. And stay here for three breaths. Push down for your hands, inhale. Squeeze your wrists, your forearms towards each other, and exit. Use that to draw up into your chest, inhale. Keep lifting up into your hips, exit. Push down through your feet, inhale. Squeeze your thighs towards each other. And exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and make your way forward. Walk or float to the top of your mat. Come to your fingertips. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Touch to the ground. Bend your knees if you need to. Stay here and exhale. Inhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. And stay here and exhale. Squeeze your legs together, push down through your feet, and inhale, stand up, reach up. Stay here, and exhale. Bring your arms to your sides, Tadasana. Inhale. And exhale. Half breath, Sari Namaskar. In. Inhale, reach up, Urdhva Hastasana, or hands together, Namaskar. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Squeeze your legs towards each other to help you lift. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Step it back to plank pose, exhale. Squeeze your wrists and legs towards each other. Inhale here, tone your belly, Chaturanga Danasana. Exhale, don't collapse, so be in charge of how much you bend your elbows. Inhale, up dog, squeeze your wrists in. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths, inhale. Imagine you've got a block between your thighs and squeeze the block, inhale. Move the block back and lift your hips up, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your ears in line with your arms, inhale. And imagine you could squeeze your head, 
with your arms. Exhale. Bend your knees, lift your heels up forward, and walk or float to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Fold Uttanasana. Squeeze your legs in to help you rise up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale. Tadasana. One more Surya. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Make your way to Chaturanga Nasana. Exhale. Urdhva Mukta Shanasana, up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale. Follow your breath inside, inhale. And stretch out through your arms and legs, exhale. Last breath here, inhale. Get ready to move. Bend your knees, lift your heels as you exhale, look forward, and with your breath out, walk or float to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Asana. Exhale. Surya Namaskar B, bring your feet together. Tadasana. We'll do the same pattern as we did in the Surya Namaskar A. So we'll do a full breath, inhale and exhale for each pose, and then move into the half breath. Get us into the shapes, feel them in our body before we just jump into the flow. Tadasana. Exhale. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Utkatasana. Bend your knees. Inhale. And stay here. Exhale. Squeeze your legs in. Fold forward. Inhale here. Exhale here. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Stay here. Exhale. Squeeze your legs towards each other. Inhale. Place your hands flat and make your way to Chaturangadandasana. Exhale and Chaturangadandasana. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Stay here. Hug your thighs in. Exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale. Step your right leg forward. Exhale. Spin your left heel down. Set your legs up for warrior one. Inhale. Virabhadrasana one. Exhale. So that was our whole breath. The setup and the pose. Inhale, step your hands down, step back, and exhale, Chaturanga Nasana. Inhale, up dog. Stay here, exhale. Inhale, down dog. And exhale, step your left leg forward. Step your right foot forward, inhale, bring your right heel down. Set up for warrior one, exhale, warrior one. Inhale, hands down and step back. And get ready and lower to the run back. Exhale. Inhale, upward facing dog. Stay here. Hug your wrists in and thighs in. Exhale. Inhale, downward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hug your thighs in. Exhale, lift your hips up. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward, exhale, and with your breath out, float or walk to the top of your mat. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana, hug in with your legs, Utkatasana, bend your knees, lift up, inhale, stay here, exhale, inhale, stand up, exhale, Tadasana, Utkatasana, inhale. Uttanasana. Exhale. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Make your way to Chaturanga Dandasana. Exhale. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha. Up dog. Exhale. Adho Mukha down dog. And step your right leg forward. Left heel down. Warrior one. Come up. Inhale. So we're going to keep moving. It's over. You can catch up. Step back. Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale. Left dog. Exhale, down dog, and left leg forward, right heel down, rise up. Inhale, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. And then keep going, exhale, 
Chaturangarandasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we'll meet there. So when you get there, we'll be here. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, hug your thighs in, hug your wrist in, and exhale. Lengthen through your spine. Inhale. Bend your knees, look forward, exhale. And make your way forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Utkatasana, inhale. Tadasana. Exhale. So you're going to be one more time. Inhale, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Make your way to Chaturanga. Exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog, and set up for warrior one. So that when you're inhale, you rise up, warrior one. And with your exhale, you keep going. Do your best, that's all that really matters. Inhale, up dog, hug your legs in and wrists in. Exhale, down dog, and left leg forward, right heel down, rise up, inhale, warrior one. And keep going, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. And we get to steady our breath here. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath here. Inhale. And exhale. Bend your knees. Look forward. Make your way forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Inhale. Uttanasana. Exhale. Bend your knees. Utkatasana. Fierce pose. And Tadasana, exhale. Steady your breath in Tadasana. Come back to your Ujjayi or your focused breath. Bring your legs together if your feet are separated. And stretch your arms up. Reach up. With your right hand, turn your thumb forward. With your right wrist, or sorry, your right hand, grab your left wrist. Reach up. Side bend to the right. In Dudalasana. So we're here at Desus Any, and this is a great pose for stretching your obliques. And well, we might not be surfing at the moment I'm teaching this. There's a lot of surfing that happens here. Squeeze your legs together and side bend more. Having your obliques ready is going to help you. Be more steady on your board. It's going to help you be more steady in life. Squeeze your legs together. Draw in. Squeeze your head with your arms. Come up to center. Take your left hand. Thumb forward. Hold your right wrist with your left hand. Inhale. Reach up. In doodle lasana. Exhale to the left. Also, I like to think this is a, this is a surfer's pose because it's got dude in the name. In doodle lasana. Whatever. Yoga jokes, the same as dad jokes. No, I'm kids, so there you go. You get my dad jokes. Squeeze your legs together. Side bend more. Inhale up to center. Bring your arms to your sides. Tadasana. Right leg, Vrikshasana, tree pose. Turn your right leg out. Bring your right foot high inside your left leg. You can do hands to hips or hands to heart. Or stretch your arms all the way up. If you go arms up, you can choose hands shoulder distance apart or hands together, arms straight. Go into this pose. Push your right foot into your left leg and resist with your left leg. Use that to help go out. Stretch out through the pose, through your right knee, through your fingers, through your left foot. Steady your breath. Vrik Shasana, tree pose. Tadasana. Lower your right leg to meet your left. Bring your arms to your sides. Rikshasana to the left. Tree pose. Turn your left leg out. Bring your left foot high on the inside of your right leg. You can choose hands to hips. It's probably the most stable variation. Or hands to heart. Also pretty stable. 
gets a little more precarious when you start to open it up. Start your arms up if you want. Do your hands separate, shoulder distance apart, or hands together. And then squeeze the back of your head and stretch up if you're doing that variation. Full Vrikshasana. And the way out is in. Push your left foot into your right leg and resist with your right leg, even with your outer right butt. Yeah, that's what it takes. Draw into the pose and then stretch out through your left knee, stretch out through your right foot, stretch out through your fingers. Grow your tree. And steady your breath. Help you stay in the pose. And lower your arms, and lower your leg. Tadasana. When I teach vinyasa, I'll often start with Surya Namaskar A, often follow that with Surya Namaskar B, probably because I don't want to like really confuse you too much in vinyasa, I want us to get into the flow of things. And I usually follow those up with Surya Namaskar C, which is an empty shell that I get to choose what goes in it. This is what Surya Namaskar C is going to look like today. We're going to do two little sequences and put them together into one flow. So we'll do each of them twice on each side. So Surya Namaskar C, part one, looks like this. Bring your feet together. Tadasana. Utkatasana. Bend your knees, stretch your arms up. Sometimes called chair pose, but I always call it Utkatasana because chair is a weak description of this. Utkata means fierce, so be fierce. Drop into this pose, feel it. And then, it's left leg back, Virabhadrasana 1. So if your left leg back, push through your left foot, bend into your right knee. Look up, bring your hands together, Virabhadrasana 1. Pull your left hip forward a little, and then hug your left hip in. Stretch out for your right knee. And then straighten both legs. Straighten your right leg. Push down for your right foot. Reach up. Inhale. Pull your left hip forward. Hug your left hip in, and fold forward. Stretch out over your right leg. Hold your right leg, or touch the ground. Parsvottanasana, sometimes called pyramid pose. Pull back with your right hip, pull forward with your left hip, and squeeze your legs towards each other, even though they're split here, and fold deeply over your right leg. Doesn't matter if you're holding your leg or if your hands are on the ground, it's up to you what's appropriate for you today. It's all Parsvottanasana. Push through your back foot, your left foot, Bend into your right knee again, and then come up. Lift your left heel up, so you're in what's sometimes called a high lunge, or crescent lunge, or warrior one variation. I suppose that's supposed to have so many different names. Push through your left toes, straighten your left leg, have your right knee over your right ankle as best as you can. And bring your hands to your heart for prayer. Push through your back toes, push through your right foot. Move your hips to the left a little and twist to the right. Hook your left arm outside your right leg. Twisted lunge. So again, think about moving your hips to the left. Your right hip might be lifting up and sticking out to the right here, so hug it in. That'll help you draw in and stabilize your pose. Twisted lunge. Look down at the ground. Look at your right foot. This usually doesn't go that well the first time you do it, but stay with me. We're going to go into twisted chair pose. Bend your left knee. Without moving your right foot, pull it back, and then step your left foot forward to meet your right foot. Just do your best. Stay in the twist, though. And if you have to step forward a few times to get your feet together, just do that. Push through your right arm, twist to the right. Sorry, twist through your left, push through your left arm, twist to the right. Shift your hips to the right a little, and then regular chair pose, Utkatasana. Back to center, put your arms up, sit deeply, squeeze your legs in, just stand up. And bring your arms to your sides. Same thing, other side. The first part of Surya Namaskar C. 
Steady your breath in Tadasana. Bend your knees. Utkatasana. Set your arms up. Reach up and squeeze your legs in. Squeeze your arms in. And then it's right leg back for warrior one. Push to your left foot. Step your right leg back. Spin your heel down. Look forward or look up and bring your hands together. Virabhadrasana one. Push to your right foot. Pull your right hip forward. Bend into your left knee. Stay with your arms reaching up and straighten both legs. Push down through your feet, reach up, and then start to flex at your hip and fold forward for Parsvottanasana, Pyramid Pose. Push down through your right foot, pull your right hip forward, hug your left hip back, squeeze your inner thighs towards each other, stretch your chest forward and fold over your left leg. Parzvo Tanasana Pyramid. It really means side intense stretch or intense stretch of your side. Really I feel it's an intense stretch of my front leg but you know I didn't name the pose. Push through your feet, bend into your left knee Come back up into warrior one. Keep your hands shoulder distance apart for this one. Because then we're going into crescent lunge. Lift your right heel. Straighten your right leg. Stretch up through your fingers. Bring your hands together in front of your heart. Bend your left knee over your left ankle. Stretch it up. And then twist to the left. Hook your right arm outside your left leg. Twisted lunge. You can look down, you can look out to the side, or look over your left shoulder. Move your hips to the right a little bit. And then look down at your right foot. Sorry, look down at your left foot, your front foot. We're going into the twisted Utkatasana. So bend your right knee a little, pull back with your left foot, and do your best. That's all you can do, so that's all you have to do. Step your right foot forward. Sit deeply into the chair, but with the twist. Parivritta Utkatasana. It's got a fancy name. Don't worry about it. Come back to center. Stretch your arms up Utkatasana. And stand up. Tadasana. Steady your breath. And just think about those poses. Listen. I'm just going to walk you through it. Just picture them. Don't do them. Just steady your breath. Come to your ujjayi or your focused breath. And imagine yourself doing this sequence of poses. It starts with Utkatasana, chair pose. Then in a moment you'll step your left leg back into warrior one. Then you'll straighten both legs and fold over your right leg for Parsvottanasana, pyramid pose. Then you'll come back up into warrior one and lift your left heel for crescent lunge and then twist to the right into twisted lunge. And then it's step forward into twisted chair, regular chair, and Tadasana. See, not so hard. You can visualize yourself doing it. Now we'll do it. Inhale with Tadasana. Step your left leg back. Exhale, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Inhale, straighten your right leg, stretch both legs straight, reach up. And exhale, fold over your right leg. Pyramid pose. Parsvottanasana. Inhale, come back up, warrior one. And then lift your left heel. And exhale, crescent lunge. Inhale, hands to your heart. Exhale, twist to the right. Look down at your right foot, step your left foot forward. Twisted chair, Padivritta Utkatasana. And then regular chair, Utkatasana. And regular. Tadasana. See, not so bad. Other side. Inhale, Utkatasana. Step your right foot back. Exhale, Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, straighten both legs, reach up and look up. And exhale, fold over your left leg. Parsvottanasana. Hold your left leg or the, touch the ground. Inhale, come back up, Virabhadrasana one. And exhale, lift your right heel, separate your hands. Inhale, hands to your heart. And exhale, twisted lunge to the left. 
Look down at your left foot. Inhale, step your right foot forward. Padmasambhava Utkatasana. Inhale, regular Utkatasana. And exhale, Tadasana. Close your eyes. Steady your breath. And draw in. The way out of this, the way into this is in. Your strength, your power, your joy lives inside. So that's part one. Part two looks like this. Tadasana. Inhale, stretch your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Step your left leg back, lunge. Keep your left heel lifted, push down through your right foot, push down through your fingertips. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. Spin your left heel down, make your left foot parallel to the back of your mat. Stretch your right knee over your ankle, push down through your feet, and come up into your warrior two. Stretch out through your arms, but draw your legs towards each other. Draw it into the pose so that your legs get more engaged. Keep that action of drawing up and in and straighten your front leg. So straighten both legs. Turn your palms out to the side. Triangle. Trikonasana. Reach forward and side bend. Doesn't matter if you touch the ground. You can touch the ground if that's available. Or just hold the outside of your right leg and switch your left arm up. Push down through your feet and energetically pull up on your legs. Pull up from your feet to draw you in. Even though you're stretching out through your arms, draw energetically in and then stretch out through your spine. The way out is in. It's all of this work to draw in. Look down at the ground. Bend into your right knee. Lean forward so that you can touch the ground. It can help to step your left foot forward. Ardha Chandrasana, slide your right hand forward a little more, push into your right foot, and float your left leg up. Turn your left toes out to the left, move your left shoulder up and back, and maybe look up. Half moon. Next pose is warrior one. Bend into your right knee, float your left leg back, Turn your toes in and come up. Virabhadrasana. Bring your hands down to the ground. Step it back and lower. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale. Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale here, hug your wrists in. Exhale here, squeeze your legs in. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your heels, look forward and exhale. And when your breath out, float or walk to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana, inhale. Uttanasana, exhale. Squeeze your legs in to rise up. Inhale. Tadasana. Exhale. Part two of this sequence, second side. It's just like the first side, but backward. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward. Uttanasana. Step your right leg back to the lunge. Inhale. Push down through your toes, push down through your left foot, push down through your fingertips. Hug your legs in. And then warrior two, spin your right heel down, make your right foot parallel to the back of your mat. Push down from your feet and rise up. Virabhadrasana two, warrior two. Stretch out through your arms, but to stabilize your pose, draw in. Push down through your feet, pull up on your skin of your legs, on the muscles of your legs and make your legs stronger. Keep that action of pulling up and in, straighten your left leg and turn your palms away from you. Reach forward and side bend. Trikonasana. 
touch the outside of your left leg with your left arm. It doesn't matter if you're touching the ground. Pull up on your legs. Even draw in with your fingers to stretch out through your spine. Next up is Ardha Chandrasana. Look down at your left foot. Bend your left knee. Step your right foot forward a little so that you can touch the ground with your left hand. And then push through your left hand, left foot. Lift your right leg up. Stretch up through your right shoulder. Move your right hand back a little. Look down at the ground. Or look out to the side. Or look up. Ardha Chandrasana. Squeeze your legs towards each other. But get ready for the next pose. Visualize warrior one. Bend into your left knee. Float your right leg back and come up. Virabhadrasana one. Inhale, bring your hands down. And step back to plank pose. Lower to Chaturanga Danasana. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, hug your wrists in, inhale, hug your thighs in, exhale, inhale, bend your knees, look forward, and exhale. With your breath out, make your way forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, and fold forward, Uttanasana. Squeeze in to rise up, inhale. And Tadasana. Exhale. Stand in Tadasana. And close your eyes. And visualize this little piece of the sequence. Don't do it, just listen and see yourself doing it in your mind. It's Tadasana, lunge, warrior two, triangle, half moon. Float it back into warrior one, and then chaturanga, up dog, down dog. Won't take long, and we do it at half breath for pose. Tadasana. Inhale, reach up, or bahastasana, or namaskar. Exhale, uttanasana. Step your right leg back to the lunge. Inhale, exhale, warrior two. Straighten your right leg, inhale, exhale, Trikonasana. Look down to the ground, set up for Ardha Chandrasana, inhale, and float it up, Ardha Chandrasana, exhale. Bend into your right knee, float it back for warrior one as you inhale, and as you exhale, come up, warrior one. Inhale, hands down, and exhale, step back and lower, Chaturanga Nasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Just one breath here, inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward, and move forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up and reach up, inhale, Tadasana, exhale. Same thing, other side, inhale, reach up, exhale, fold forward. Inhale, step your right leg back, lunge, and exhale, Virabhadrasana 2, warrior 2. Inhale, straighten both legs, exhale, Trikonasana. Get ready for Ardha Chandrasana. Inhale for the setup, and exhale, lift it up, Ardha Chandrasana. Get ready for warrior 1, bend your left knee, float it back, inhale, and exhale, come up, warrior 1. Inhale, hands down, lift your right heel, step it back, and exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, just one breath here. Exhale, bend your knees, look forward. Make your way forward, inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up and reach up, inhale. And exhale, Tadasana. Close your eyes in Tadasana. Steady your breath. And go inside. Go 
inside to a place where you will visualize how we put these two poses together, these two little sequences. It's going to go like this. Just listen. See yourself doing it. We'll do it in just a moment. It starts like this. Just imagine it. It's Utskatasana, chair pose. It's left leg back, warrior one. Straighten both legs and fold over your right leg, pyramid pose. Come up into crescent lunge, so lift your left heel. Twist to the right into the twisted lunge, but then we're going to open it up to the left into warrior two. This is how the two parts come together. Then we'll straighten the front leg and come into triangle, float it forward into half moon, float it back into warrior one, and do chaturanga up dog, down dog. And that's how we'll get through Surya Namaskar C. Ready? Gonna go like this. Utkatasana. Inhale. Step your left leg back. Virabhadrasana one. Exhale. Straighten your right leg. Inhale. Fold forward. Exhale. Pyramid pose. Lift your left heel as you come up. Inhale. Crescent lunge. Twist to the right. Exhale. Twisted lunge. Now open it up to the left into warrior two. Spin your left heel then. Stretch your arms up. Warrior two. Inhale. Straighten your right leg. Exhale. Inhale. Trikonasana. Get ready for half moon. Exhale. Push your right fingertips down. And then inhale. Load it up. Warrior one. Exhale. Inhale. Hands down. Exhale, step it back and lower. Chaturanga to nuts. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, one breath. Exhale, bend your knees. Look forward and float forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Squeeze your legs in, stand up and reach up. Inhale, Tadasana. Exhale. Other side. Utkatasana. Inhale. Warrior one. Right leg back. Exhale. Straighten both legs. Inhale. And fold forward. Pyramid. Parsvottanasana. Exhale. Lift your right heel. Inhale. Come up. Crescent lunge. And exhale. Twist to the left. Twisted lunge. And then it's warrior two to the right. Inhale, come up warrior two. And exhale, straighten your left leg. Inhale, triangle, trikonasana. Look down, get ready for Ardha Chandrasana. Exhale, bring your left hand down. And then lean forward and lift your right leg. Inhale, Ardha Chandrasana. Float it back, warrior one. Exhale. Inhale, hands down, lift your right heel, and exhale. Chaturanga Nasana. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Down dog. Inhale. Exhale. Bend your knees, look forward, and float forward or walk forward. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Stand up and reach up. Inhale. Tadasana. Exhale. Utkatasana. Inhale. Stay in Utkatasana, but fold in and touch your hands to the ground. Exhale. Bend your knees more, walk your hands back. Inhale. And exhale, walk your hands back, bend your knees more. Inhale, sit down. And exhale. Stretch your legs out. Just relax for a moment and think about all that work you've done. So great. All you have to do is what you can do. And if that went a little fast for you, you can come back to it again and practice it again and again. For now, bend your right leg like tree pose for Janu Shoshasana. Turn and face your left leg. Stretch your arms up, reach up, flex at your left hip and fold forward. 
hold your left foot or your left leg, pull on your leg or foot, round your upper back, then fold over your left leg. Janusharsasana. Push your right foot into your left leg, push your left leg into your right foot, and use that drawing in to go out. Lengthen through your spine. Go out over your left leg. And drawing in with your leg. Steady your breath. Pull on your left leg. Lift your head and chest. And sit up. And change legs. Straighten your right leg and your left leg, bring your foot in like tree pose. Turn and face your right leg and stretch your arms up. Reach up and then flex at your right hip and fold forward. Hold your right foot or your right leg, but keep your right leg straight. So if it's holding around your calf or even higher on your leg, do that. Inhale, lift forward and exhale, fold over your right leg, round into your upper back. Push your left foot into your right leg. Push your right leg into your left foot. Draw in to go out. Use that to help lengthen your spine and stretch out over your right leg. Janusha Shasta. Steady your breath. Lift your head and chest, inhale, and sit up, exhale. Bring the soles of your feet together, Baddha Konasana, push your hips forward, and lie down. Supta, Baddha Konasana, bound angle pose on your back. I like right hand on my belly, left hand over my heart, but you can do what feels comfortable with your hands. Rather than making this a really intense pose, which it can be just based on the shape, let gravity do the work of the pose. So gently push your, thing, your feet together, but then relax in your legs so that they get heavy. Use this as a calming pose, rather than a pose in which you're exerting a lot of energy. Pull your breath inside. Allow gravity to push down on your whole body to draw you in. Slow your breath down to calm your nervous system. Whatever it is that you want out of life and out of your practice, the path there is to go in, set your foundations, find your transformation. Shavasana. Stretch your legs out. Turn your palms up at your sides. Relax your feet, your toes, your ankles. Keep working your way up your body. Relax your thighs. Release your hips so they get heavier on the earth. Relax your fingers. Your hands. Your wrists. Your elbows. 
elbowing. Relax your upper arms and into your shoulders. Release across your chest. And allow your whole body to get heavy on the earth. Let go. Rest. You're determined. Deepen your breath. Move your fingers and toes. Put your arms and legs. Deepen your breath. Bring yourself back from Shavasana. Ready, bend your knees, and turn to your side. Pause there on your side. Look at it. Follow the shape in. Follow your breath in. And then come out. Down and sit up. Sit up tall. Close your eyes. 
bring your hands together in front of your heart. This practice of finding our way out by drawing in is to help us connect parts of who we are that can get disjointed by life. Our mind and our body aren't often in sync. This practice is to help us reconnect, to set the foundation for whatever it is that we want to do. Thanks for drawing in today. May it help you find your way out. Let's end as we began with one arm. Exhale. Inhale. Thanks for practicing. Namaste. Thanks so much. See you on the mat again soon. Thanks for practicing. I hope that you enjoyed that and helped you get into your flow. If you would like to do another class with me in the future, there's one of my classes I think you'll like. Click on it, add it to your watch later list. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please just click my picture right over there and subscribe. If you've got any comments or questions, stick them below the video and I'll get back to you. Have a great day, homies.